similar to the call centers, where we have certain customers calling us multiple times. In our dispatch space, we have certain households that require multiple dispatches to be sent uh, for troubleshooting their issues. And so the objective here was to monitor a geographical impact of the field technician dispatch activity to improve customer satisfaction. And when I say geographical impact, it is not only at the state and zip code level, but at the individual household level. So we get to see the individual households that are generating multiple dispatches. So we start with measuring and monitoring certain key KPIs, high level KPIs that give you a sense uh, of your entire footprint for Fios dispatch. And then we segment these KPIs by the type of customer, by what's driving the dispatches, so the trouble types is what we call as the metric, and by several other wireline infrastructure attributes that are related to customers' households that generate multiple dispatches. And then we take all of this data and plot it on geospatial heat maps and satellite maps. We've used Mapbox satellite maps and integrated with Google Street View APIs. So to start with, we look at our customer base of 6.9 million. We look at the number of tickets they have generated. We look at the ticket rate. We look at the dispatches that have been initiated. We look at the dispatch rate. And then we look at the actual dollar cost impact coming in from whatever dates you've plugged in. So it's the dates are hyper flexible here. Um, now one feedback that we got from uh, top level executives is, okay, it's great to see these uh, key KPIs uh, for whatever dates we've plugged in, but we want to know how these KPIs have performed over time. We want to see a historical time trend of these key KPIs. And this is a great use case for Wizen tooltips. So now we can hover over these boxes and line graphs pop up showing you the historical time trend of how these key KPIs have performed over time. Below these KPI boxes, we see a distribution of ticket rates and dispatch rates by states in a heat map style view where we can intuitively gauge which states are overperforming or underperforming with respect to uh, ticket rates and dispatch rates. Below, these, below the heat map, you're seeing a horizontal bar graph of the different trouble types of what's generating these dispatches. So that's T1, T2, T3, T4. These are the different trouble types. Now, I talked about we want the business experts to slice and dice data themselves and extract actionable insights whenever they want. So let me give you an example how that is possible in this dashboard. Let's say we want to dive deep into a particular state. We can click on, let's say, Massachusetts and now all of the rest of the views in the dashboard get filtered for Massachusetts only. So now we look at, okay, trouble type T1 has the highest ticket volume, but trouble type T2 is generating the highest dispatch volume. So let's click on T2 and on the geo heat map, now I can zoom in to find pockets of zip codes that have generated high dispatches for the trouble type T2 within the state of Massachusetts for the given dates that you've plugged in. Hovering over these uh, zip codes will give you further information as to what is our customer population, what is the actual dollar cost impact coming out from the zip code um, for the dates that you've plugged in and for that particular trouble type. Also, I can go further and click on a particular zip code and you'll see the infrastructure information at the bottom of the dashboard gets adjusted. So we get to see what is the distribution of our architecture and of the premises, et cetera, certain key infrastructure metrics that we, uh, uh, it gives us good, good context with respect to uh, uh, high dispatch areas. So this kind of slicing and dicing comes in really handy when you want to see which areas are affected for weather related events like uh, snowstorms uh, or uh, hurricanes, et cetera. In the next view, we start with a key question. Does anybody live in this house? <laughs> no? All right, I'm good to show this then. Okay. 
in the next few, we start with uh, a correlation matrix of dispatch rates and ticket rates, and it's a scatter plot of half a million zip codes. And the zip codes that have a high dispatch rate is shown in our target quadrant, which is in orange. So all those plots have a high dispatch rate and a high ticket rate. And let's say we want to dive deep into a particular zip code. The size of the circle shows you the customer population. So let's pick a high dispatch rate zip code where we have a decent customer, uh, customer population. And so I'm gonna hover over one of the zip codes. And so you see NJ Westfield 07090 has a high dispatch rate for the given dates that we plugged in. We don't know what these dates are, right? Um, and all right, let's click on uh, NJ Westfield. And what you'll find is the satellite map at the right zooms in to show you the actual households that have generated these dispatches. Now, let's try to find of these households, which are some of the households that have generated multiple dispatches. And we can do that by plugging in whatever threshold we want in the filter that's on the top right. So dispatches, more than one, let's, let's put in three and see what happens. And the heat map um, and the satellite map zooms in further to show you those households that have more than three dispatches. Let's do less dispatches more than five. And now we can see that there's one street on which we have like two households that have generated more than five dispatches in, in the given time period. So let's click on one of the households. And the trouble type tree map that you see gets filtered to show you what has generated these more than five dispatches. So the T2 is the highest uh, dispatch driver here. At the bottom, you see certain contextual metrics. So we pull in the actual string fields of customer narrative and tech narrative and what router does the customer have and certain other wireline information. And it many times it comes in really, really handy to see the actual infrastructure on the ground. So that is possible through the Google Street View API integration. And now we can see the actual street and the actual household uh, which has generated high dispatches. So sometimes, in the customer narrative, we find that, okay, the wires are hanging too low or a, a particular uh, household has been affected by a weather-related event. So it's good to see uh, what's there on the ground through the Google Street View API integration. This has helped us a lot in the analysis. Yep, so this one's important, not because of the, also the value it's going to deliver, but this is the type of dashboard where we get a lot of questions about these KPIs. So it's gonna reduce analysis time by 50%. So if you get a bunch of questions in an analytics organization, you know how important it is to automate those insights and then let stakeholders slice and dice. So this is what this tool is able to do. Um, it's also enabling that geospatial technology so we can now see which zip codes have high dispatches, which zip codes have really any poor KPI that we need to measure. Um, stakeholders can also see where recurring dispatches are happening. And I love the tool that Sid showed that you can put in one, two, three, four, whatever you need to then find those households that are the outliers. And also just the geospatial technology in general. So this technology, like before, can be used in many different use cases. It's not just this one for dispatches, but like Sid pointed out, any weather-related event, anything you're trying to map for your organization, you can use this technology with the Google Maps API to make that happen.